Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. All right, so let's look at the main energy from your person. What's the main energy? going on here in this connection between you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or someone in mind. All right, so main energy for Gemini in love. What's the main energy in this connection spirit for Gemini and this person they are thinking or connecting with at this time? I want this one. Wow, we got new beginnings, beginnings, letting go, new day. You're ready for a fresh start. Heck yes. Heck yes, we are Geminis. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I am a Gemini sun and Venus. So I love doing our readings. They don't always resonate for me personally, but I love hearing what is going on for Geminis. So new beginnings. Okay. New beginnings. So this can mean so many things. It can mean a whole new beginning in an existing connection, or maybe this is a connection that hasn't really happened officially, or there hasn't been a uh, commitment yet. So it's just starting out. Beginnings, a fresh start. Well, I love that energy, that's for sure. So let me grab a deck here. What deck do I wanna grab? I think I'll just do this one here. And let's get into this main en energy a little bit here. And then we'll look at your person's true feelings or intentions towards you and the actions they'll take towards you. For Gemini, what can you tell me about the main energy here between Gemini and the person they are in a connection with? Can you tell me about this new beginnings energy here? What do we need to know for Gemini? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, or subscribed. And you enjoy, if you enjoy the reading, please hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot and it's free. <laughs> um, also subscribe if you haven't already and join our little family here. I feel like these are all sloppy shuffles. And I just don't want to take a card yet. It doesn't feel right. Sorry, tell me more about new beginnings. What do we need to know about new beginnings for Geminis? Okay. The Magician reversed. Wow. Okay, so I'm getting a few messages here. I feel like this hasn't manifested yet or there has been a delay in this manifesting. What else can you tell me, Spirit? What else can you tell me about new beginnings? What can you tell me about this energy for Gemini spirit? Queen of Swords reverse. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting possibly very little communication or the communication is not very good between you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Queen of Swords. When she's reversed, it could also mean that there is... Um, I'm getting like not the whole truth, almost like someone's been manifesting clarity here and it hasn't happened. That's what I'm picking up here. It's at the back, bottom of the deck. Emperor reversed, Aries energy. So this is all about someone feeling powerless um, and maybe it's frustration at something that's not taking place. Someone's feeling like things are out of their control this is not something that they can make happen on their own, that kind of energy. So between you and this other person, I feel like there's a new beginning in the horizon here. I have a sun dawning here. I feel like there's something that is shifting. Um, we'll see, let's, let's dig in into your person. Let's 
also, what are their true feelings or intentions towards Gemini? The person that Gemini is dealing with spirit, what are their true feelings or intentions towards Gemini? I'm using the Soul's Journey lesson cards here. All of the cards that I'm using are linked down below for Gemini. What are their true intentions or feelings when it comes to Gemini or this connection spirit? What can you tell us for Gemini? Failure. Wow. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Wow, Gemini, what happened here? Your person feels like they have failed you or this connection failed in a sense, like maybe it never really took off here. Again, I'm getting the sense like something's not, hasn't been able to start. So let's dig into this. Tell me more, Spirit, about this person's true intentions or feelings towards Gemini or this connection. Tell me more about this person's true intentions. Let's dig in here. Tell me more about this person's true intentions. Towards Gemini or this connection. Maybe they feel like this is all their fault. I'm getting very Five of Swords energy here. I'm not sure what that's about. King of Swords reversed. So we have a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords, both reversed. Um, again, it's like the communication is not very good. King of Swords and Queen of Swords reversed. They're terrible communicators. Sometimes by by design, like they want to confuse, they want to um, keep things to themselves. Um, but I'm also picking up like something that's not being uh, dealt with, like someone's not coping well with the way things are happening or the way things went down in the past. Tell me more about how this person thinks or feels about Gemini or this connection. Maybe they didn't say what they should have said. Maybe they kept something to themselves that they shouldn't have. Something like that. Eight of Cups reverse. This can mean a few things here. Either someone, wow, and I have the Fool at the bottom. This is all about new beginnings here, taking a risk, a leap of faith. Someone could be leaving a situation to have a new beginning and is, un and is unable to. Maybe they're trying, but is unable to. Someone could be wanting to return to have a new beginning. Can I get one more? How about this person's true feelings or intentions towards Gemini? It's like your person feels they made a mistake. The star, wow. Aquarius energy here with the star. They could be wanting to heal this situation. Um, maybe they're, they have a wish. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, yes, I feel like they want to heal this. The Ace of Cups reverse. Like, it's almost like there was some sort of um, heartbreak, huge disappointment, emotions flying high here, overwhelming emotions. I feel like someone wants to heal this. And it's like they're trying not to give up hope here. Tell me more about this star. Tell me more about this star. Yeah, wants a tower reverse again an another king reversed tower reversed so they, they're trying to avoid a tower here from happening and it's interesting because i never noticed that in this card um in the writer way notice how she's still upright falling even though this card is reversed 
So that kind of goes with the, you know, for me as a reader, the tower reverse doesn't mean that you can avoid a tower altogether. I feel like the tower is still coming down, but it's like you can kind of see that it's coming down. So you can kind of prepare for it in a sense. So I feel like your person wants to heal a connection to avoid a tower or maybe their wish is to try to avoid a tower. I think when they when they picture this connection or, or think about this connection, um, when they think about you, I really get the sense that they think you're going to be extremely upset, maybe not listen to them, maybe their own choices have brought them failure and they're recognizing that. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, look at this, Ace of Swords. It's like there's clarity. There's clarity here about, I feel, the way that they've handled a situation. Um, I really get the sense that they they want a fresh start with you and, and in, in their mind, it's all their fault. That's kind of like they're the ones that have to fix this is what I'm picking up here. So let's get into what actions they might take towards you or what energy are they bringing to this connection specifically for Gemini? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? Or what energy spirit are they bringing to this connection? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? Or what energy are they bringing to this connection spirit? For Gemini. Peaks of joy. Okay. So I feel like when it comes to peaks of joy, this card obviously it's about happiness, joy. It's about um I'm just picking up like take again that idea of taking a leap for happiness, taking a chance for happiness. Let me look real quick at the keywords of that card. Number 33, joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and you've worked hard for it. You are surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. Wow. So I feel like, again, this, this idea of a new beginning, a leap, a risk into something new and things kind of working out synchronistically. So I feel like spirit is kind of involved here in making things happen. Let's see. Tell me more about this peaks of joy energy for Gemini. more about this peaks of joy energy for Gemini what actions or energy are they bringing to this connection spirit for Gemini oh my gosh what is going on I feel like your person is um they can't give they can't manifest they can't even leave what's going on tell me more got two two of yeah look at this knight of pentacles reverse two of swords so what i'm getting is like stuck energy here there is indecision um possibly someone is very guarded um Things are very delayed, very slow with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. But for me as a reader, the Knight tends to still make it to his destination, no matter how long it takes to get there. It's at the bottom of the deck, I'm curious. Nine of Swords reverse. So someone's kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Maybe right now they feel stuck like this. They can't give to this connection. Um, maybe they feel like... Um, 
they don't have the financial resources or the stability to make this happen. So let's clarify. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. Deck do I want to use? It's a good question. Deck do I want to use? I'll use this one. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Gemini. Let's get into this, Gemini, because I am so curious. If this is resonating for you in any way, leave me a comment and let me know what is the holdup here between you and this other person, because there is definitely a holdup. <clears throat> Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Let's start with that. Why is this Queen of Swords reverse? Oh, I got two. Strength reverse, King of Cups reverse. Ooh. This Queen of Swords, again, I'm picking up that frustration, trying to control a situation that feels out of control, trying to get a handle of the emotional side of this. I feel like someone is extremely like emotionally um, going through something here. Maybe it's been a really long time. Maybe a lot of things have happened in this connection. Maybe someone's tired of things not happening, not taking off. Leo energy with the strength card. And so it's making them um, kind of like a very cold, guarded, withdrawn. Ten of Swords at the bottom here. So something could have happened between you, an ending of some sort in the past, or feelings of betrayal, um, or maybe a cycle is just closing for one of you here, because this is just the energy in your connection, so both of you could be here. Um, but I feel like this Queen of Swords did not cope well with this ending or whatever happened. Um, maybe they wanted things to happen a certain way, and they didn't, and so now the Queen of Swords is reversed. She's not happy. She's not dealing well. She's keeping things to herself. Um, maybe she's feeling vindictive or like she wants someone else to hurt just as much as just as much as she's hurting tell me about the magician reverse tell me about the magician reverse i'm not going to clarify every single card but i definitely want to get some more insight into what's going on between you yeah so the world reverse so i feel like there's there is a delay in a new beginning. There is possibly a lack of closure here that's keeping things from moving forward. There's chap a chapter or cycle needs to close here for things to move forward here. Can I get one more for the Magician Reverse? I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. My mind is going a mile a minute. That's way too many. Tell me more about the Magician Reverse for Gemini. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, so this is the message. Someone's really upset or with like very guarded, very cold, very withdrawn because of how things have happened in this connection. Either you are exhibiting these energies, Gemini, or someone feels like this is how you are going to be or how you are regarding this connection. I have the Five of Pentacles reverse. This is about recovery. Um overcoming difficulty, overcoming struggle, but it could also mean someone that um, still is struggling or not coping well or not healing, not having um, that recovery that's needed, that healing or help that's needed. Maybe you feel like you're in this by yourself, Gemini, or like um, you're tired, you know, just of everything that's not happened if that makes sense tell me about the eight of cups reverse what's this about the eight of cups reverse about two of swords yeah this is your person they're stuck or, un or undecided about how to how to uh either leave a situation or return to a situation tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. What else can you tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse? Eight of Swords. Okay, so this person is definitely stuck, Gemini. Like that, the two cards about being stuck, and it's all mental. And not to mention, they're both wearing blindfolds. So it's like stuck and blind. <laughs> Worst things to be. 
not seeing a way out. I feel like your person feels like they don't have a way out of whatever current situation they're in. However, they have hope or a wish here with the star. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. What's this about? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're working on something here. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse. In order to avoid this tower, they're putting in serious effort here. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse, please. Because they have this wish, this desire. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups speaks of joy. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles. It's like they're want they're wanting to put an effort in their own personal happiness. Like, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be happy. And I feel like you are involved in that happiness. You know, I feel like they 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 they're picturing you in this nine of pentacles energy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Six of Cups. Excuse me. Six of Cups. Beautiful. Can I get one more for this Queen of Pentacles reverse? They want to give you something. Seven of Wands. I feel like they, they think you're going to be resisting this or it's like they're fighting for this. Can I get one more for the Seven of Wands? This is Seven of Wands here. Hermit Reverse Virgo Energy. It's almost like your person thinks that too, there's been too much distance between you and so maybe now you would resist anything that they give you. But I feel like with the Six of Cups, even though they can't give you what they feel you deserve, or even though they can't, you know, I have the Empress at the bottom. I mean, definitely, even though they can't grow or expand or, or manifest this, it doesn't keep, it's like almost like they haven't moved on. Whatever happened, they haven't moved on. They're still thinking of the past of what they can give you, what they can offer you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Gosh, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Could be dealing with a Virgo. The Moon reverse, Pisces energy. Is this a secret? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Wow, Five of Wands. What? I am getting the weirdest message. Ten of Swords. Justice at the bottom. Holy crap. Some of you are dealing with someone that needs to get divorced. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, others of you, I feel like your person needs to end whatever difficulty or conflict they are in. Um, I feel like this was is like something that's coming out now or something that they've kept to themselves that they know if, if they were to reveal what they want to do, it's going to cause conflict. And that's what's slowing down this connection because, again, there's a cycle that needs to end, something that needs to end. Something that will bring back balance, something that will be just and fair. Tell me about this two of, of course my cards go crazy. Tell me about this two of swords. What is this about this two of swords? It came out twice. I feel like it's important. Three of wands. Yep. Tell me more about this two of swords, please, spirit for Gemini. Gemini. 